Hey everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can achieve complex animation using motion layout. So I'm going to show how you can achieve this sort of animation. Now there are multiple animations which are going on. The first one is this image view which is coming from top to the center of the screen and alongside it is changing the image inside it. Not just this, it is also changing the size of it. The text the label what's new with Kotlin 1.4 that is changing the rotation from 0 to 90 and also the color from white to deep purple. The thumbs up image at the bottom is growing up and changing the background from white to gray. Eventually the center content is getting faded out and end up with complete white in color. And finally the bottom part which is nothing but a frame layout here. This is coming as if it's a bottom sheet. Let's see how we can achieve all this animation using motion layout. So first switch to the layout and define all your views here. Now one thing to notice here is that you really don't have to define the constraints here. And the reason here is because the moment you define the constraint again in the motion scene, all the constraints which you define here will get overridden. So if you don't want that, then just avoid writing constraints here. But if you know that this views constraint will not change, you do not want to change it, like the center content here, which I'm not changing it. So I define the constraint right in the layout, the TV details. Let's see the motion scene. So in the motion scene, we define our animation. We have transition, we have constraint set. Transition is the place where we define the start and end, the duration for it, and also we can define the path, the motion path. For example, the view on top, it's not following a diagonal route, rather it is following a big parabolic path. And that is because of the start horizontal. On swipe, this is where you define when this animation should start. You have two options, either you can do with on swipe or on click. So here I've used on swipe user can just drag up anywhere in the screen and this animation will start and as soon as user swipe it down then views will be back to their original position. Keyframe set using this you can define the key position while animating the views so you can change the path for it. Uh, like for example you can see this what's new in Kotlin 1.4 so as I scroll up it's going a bit right side and then coming down. That's because of the key position, percentage x is 0.8 and at the frame position of 10. Now let's talk about the constraint set. So constraint set is a place where we define the constraint for our views. So all our views are defined here and we have given the width, height and the constraints. Like the first one is view title BG which acts like a toolbar for us, which is nothing but a normal view with the background is steel color and the height is ATD. IV profile. IV profile is the image which you are seeing on top having a width and height of 58 by 58 and the constraint aligned here is left to the left of parent and top to the top of parent. But this is not a normal image view. It's an image filter view which means that it accepts two images and you can struggle between those two images by setting the crossfade value. So one image here is like K1.4 and alternate source image is a profile pic. So as soon as I scroll up and I change the cross fade value, you see that this image is getting changed. And along the way we are also changing the elevation, so initial elevation is 0 and then we'll change it to 50. TV title is coming alongside image to, to the center of this top bar so that it will have a look as if it's a toolbar with the rotation zero because initially we do not want rotation and the color we want initially is white. Later on we'll change this color. Apple profile is the frame layout which you are seeing at the bottom. This frame layout is in fragment. Now the reason why do I am in fragment here is just to showcase that it is possible to do this sort of animation with a frame layout with fragment also. It's not just linked to the views. The thumbs up icon just coming at the bottom, which is quite small in size because of the scale that we have given. That will also go up as we scroll up and it 
changes its width and height along with the backdrop. So custom attribute is a case where you define all those parameters which is having set methods like set text colors, set text size, and background, provided this values is limited to integer, color value, color tribal, within dimension, code, pixel, dimension, and string value because it supports only these values. Finally, the view shadow. Now, initially, this is having a alpha of zero. So, this entire screen at the center, white color, is having a view which is set to alpha zero because we don't want to show this view initially. But as we scroll up, we change it, the alpha value to make it look as if there's nothing in the background. Okay, now let's switch to the end constraint. Now, this is the place where we define where this animation should end up. The title UBG. So earlier we had this title on top, but now I'm setting this button to the top of the page. By this way, it is pushing this view out of the screen. And you can see this, it is going along with the animation, the top bar. And this is all handled automatically by the motion layout. The IV profile, which is starting from there and coming to the center by changing the width, height, and the elevation. And if I leave it in a midway, then it understands the force applied either up or down, and then accordingly it settle down itself. It's not like I'm leaving in a midway, so animation ends there. So this animation will eventually end up to the start or to the end. As I said, that it's uh, image filter view, so the cross field one will set the alternate image. TV titles. So initially the title was straightforward white in color and single line and then we are changing the rotation from 0 to 90 degree and also the color for it. And all those things is done through the transform and custom attribute. After profile was initially small in height, we are increasing the height of it as we are scrolling up. Finally the thumbs up. The thumbs up icon which is quite looking small here. We are increasing the width and height of it by giving the scale value and changing the background color. As we do not want to see the background content, so we are also talking between the alpha value. So that was all about how you can add this animation using motion layout. So under 200 lines of code, you have got this complex animation. I'm also uploading this project to GitHub so that if you want to play along, then you can download from there change the color of view, add more views, try to change the animations, uh, the path for the animations, all sorts of things you can play along there. So I hope this video might be useful for you to understand about the motion layout, how you can add the complex animations, and if you find this useful, then do subscribe to this channel, do like this video, and share it with your friends.